When I was 15, my first job was carrying boxes of fish from 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. And I would run to work. So I'd leave the house at six. I'd run an hour. I'd get there at seven. I'd finish work at five. And then I'd run from there to the fight gym, get to the fight gym. I'd get there early before training started. I'd eat food next to the gym and then I'd train. And then I would get a ride home from my girlfriend at the time. So my entire life was 17 hours a day of just running and working and carrying boxes and fighting. And I can't be more thankful. You know, I don't want to be arrogant, but I'm going to. I really do believe I've had the perfect life. Now, I don't know if that's actually because I have the perfect life or if I framed it that way, but I am so thankful for everything. I am so glad I got to grow up poor because I wouldn't appreciate money if I didn't. And I'm so glad I got to spend my 20s, my that decade where you're as powerful as possible fighting. And I'm so glad I've had difficult jobs and no money. And I'm so glad I couldn't pay my bills so that I appreciate now all the money I have. And I'm so glad I had the parents I had. And I'm so glad all these bad things happened to me, but enough good things happened. And I just really feel like it's been the perfect path. And I think back on that job, I think back on how my life was back then. And I, I realized that I wouldn't appreciate any of the things I have now without them. There's absolutely no light without dark. The best thing about being rich is talking about how you used to be poor. Otherwise, it's no point being rich at all. You may, you're not going to enjoy any of it. You're going to end up addicted to drugs and doing crazy stuff, yep, right? Yep. The reason I'm so happy, I don't drink, I don't do drugs. I'm happy every day. I'm pretty emotionally balanced. It's because I wake up in a big ass house and I realize that I don't have to worry about rent the next day and everything's fine. So I, I, I think being rich is as good as I imagined it to be yep. when I was poor. And I truly enjoy it, but I would have never appreciated the money if I didn't have the poor side. And I really think in many ways, I've almost had the perfect life. I'm so glad, even going to jail was fantastic. I, I, I'm so glad that these things happened to me. Now, I don't know, as a professional, when I analyze these things, I often th sit and think, is that objectively true? Have I had the best life with all different sides of the spectrum, all the barriers of the parameter? Because there is no light without dark to have grow up around stabbings and to, to, to be stabbed myself and to have to grow up around drug dealers and to grow up in a terrible area and then to be rich and fly my Bugatti on A380s to different countries so I can flex. Like, is my life really the best life possible or have I just framed it that way? I don't know. I'm sure there's people out there who perhaps had a better life you than me. You programmed your subconscious Well, maybe there's people who've had a better life than me, right? There's people who've had deeper darks and, and lighter lights, and they've had a, a wider spectrum of experiences, and perhaps they've had a better life. But they may not think that because maybe their mind is not programmed to see it that way. Perhaps what you should do as a man is to view your life the same way. Irregardless, you should sit and wake, and wake up and say, God has given me the best possible journey on this planet. Of the eight billion people, mine is the best. I got to see this. This bad thing happened to me. That was fantastic. This terrible thing happened. That was an interesting time. This good thing happened. This girl loves me for some reason. My life's amazing. Perhaps you should view your life as the best possible life. Perhaps that's the best way to be competitive. I don't know if it needs to even be objectively true for it to be effective. It's your story. It's, it's your, your reality, story. right? So it doesn't even have to be objectively, objectively true for it to be effective. However, in my scenario, I truly believe that I have lived the best life. And I truly believe the best years of my life have not happened yet. And they're gonna come. And I truly believe that my story is gonna be one of the best stories ever. 